Welcome back. I think I have found my favorite part of the tour so far and here to tell me about what really went into making this all the lead designers the two men themselves we've got Liam Mills and Dave Hertz to hurt to be what's going on oh so right now where we are is we're actually in the fairground in Upper Canada Village okay and these are where our long our largest structures lie so what we were just looking at was the Chinese dragon which was constructed out of 200 plus pumpkins so those are individually carved pumpkins. So you're looking at, at the tail there at the end, uh -huh. and then the body, and then into the head, and the clouds below. So And it's about 40 feet long. And so. from here, it doesn't look that big, but I think we need to reiterate that yeah. all 200 of those pumpkins are artificial. Yeah. Right. So they're going to last all throughout the month of October. Yeah. Now, how did you create the vision that ended up being this dragon? Well, it was pretty much... We laid it all out on the ground and the inspiration behind it was actually the Chinese lanterns which are over in the tree there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year being the year of the dragon and the lanterns having the symbols of the zodiacs on them, we thought that it would be a nice touch to add to that. And it was constructed all on the ground and 40 feet long. We laid out the path on the, the plywood and everything and then upright it and now this is what you're seeing now. Right, but uh, even before that, I mean, you had, oh. we had uh, 40 young artists, I think, working on all the different pumpkins, right? So what did you use to design what would eventually be on the face of the pumpkins? Well, it basically started with myself and Liam coming up with like uh, sketch drawings to kind of get the inspiration flowing. It took a while to do that. And then we basically um, shared all of our creative energy together with, with our team mm -hmm. to kind of come up with these ideas. And each designer would come up with a new idea and it would all kind of just blend together. Okay, let's keep moving. Awesome. What's this one here? <laughs> This is the Polynesian exhibit. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking at now is the big volcano in the back. So the lava again plays off of the inferno element with Punk Inferno. Mm -hmm. And then these are all of our tiki masks mm -hmm. that are all surrounding the volcano and then your palm mm -hmm. trees on each side. So it's kind of got a comical sense because of the different intricate, funny tiki masks. Right. So. Yeah. And what about the hieroglyphics wall? Are these actual hieroglyphics? These are actual hieroglyphics, yeah. We haven't uh, fully indulged into the language of hieroglyphics <laughs> to make this, say, but how uh, did you do we've that? mastered pumpkins, but not Egyptian characters. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, our inspiration behind this, though, was just to add to the cultural themed area. Uh -huh. And uh, we decided that we were just awed by ancient scribings and the mass size of them, so we tried to recreate something to to kind of commemorate that. So. so now the two of you were talking about how you kind of sat down and drew out what you wanted to transform the village into. Did everything uh, come up off the paper and, and turn out the way that you wanted to or did you have to kind of mold and bend to make it work? It kind of exceeded our expectations. Like it's to, to see a thumbnail drawing come to life like this, like mm -hmm. it really comes to life at night. I think that we're just blown away. Yeah, it definitely hasn't been a smooth ride here. There's been some smooth times, but there's been a lot of little things you run into Girls on the way. And, way yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, the St. Lawrence Parks Commission has invested a lot of money into this, so it will be returning uh, year after year. Yes, yeah. it will. But they're expecting something like 20,000 people during the month of October, so um, come on down and take a tour of Upper Canada Village. If you think you've seen it all in visiting it in the day, you have a lot to see with Pumpkin Fern, all right, guys? We definitely right. do, yeah. Thanks a lot for the chat. <laughs> no problem. Stay with us, we got more to come later on the show.